Alright, so this is my attempt at a smoked meatloaf. I'm going to try and do it. I've never done this before. Um, I've made meatloaf before, but I've never smoked it before. So uh, I'm going to put my little twist on it. I've got four pounds. That's two pounds each of wild hog and venison. Yeah. So I'm going to mix it all up and I'm going to put it in this glass uh, cookware. And then I am going to smoke it <clears throat> on my Traeger grill uh, for probably two hours or so and then, uh, <laughs> whatever doesn't fill up that container I'm gonna keep and probably smoke a couple burgers uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it uh, it's a lot more I thought I was gonna use this one but it's a lot more than I was anticipating so get to mixing I'll do an overhead shot and uh, stop all right, so here we go. I'm gonna put in a whole rib of celery and get it all out. It's finally chopped up. And then also uh, about a half cup of shredded carrots, a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce or whatever you call it, however you say it. And then uh, some minced garlic. I'm not that good to uh, minced garlic, so right there. About uh, two tablespoons of that. Next on to some sea salt or kosher, kosher salt, whichever you prefer. Um, you can do it to taste. Um, I put about two tablespoons in there. And next is the black pepper. Uh, about the same. You can put however much you like. I did about two tablespoons, maybe a tablespoon and a half. Then some Italian seasoning. This stuff is really good in meatloaf. And again, that's about one tablespoon or so. This stuff might be the best stuff ever. Everglades heat, fantastic. About a tablespoon of that. And also some of this reload, fully loaded rub. I did about two tablespoons of this. This stuff is good on eggs as well. So, there we go with that. Next, the Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. This is really good. Um, I did about a whole cup here, uh, obviously not in camera shot, but I did two eggs. Here's the first one, and yes, I still crack eggs weird. And here is the second one. And there we go. Alright, next is some grated Parmesan cheese. I did about a half cup of this. Um, that's normally what I would put in for uh, half of this mixture but to each their own all right then just start mixing by hand and uh, really get in there mix it all up real good uh, you can mix it real well if you want it thicker or uh, just barely mix it if you want it a little more loose so it's really just up to preference and also um, just Make sure you're trying to get everything mixed in well. I've seen other people where they mix uh, all the ingredients outside and then add the meat. Um, I don't know if that's any different. This is just how I do it. So do it however you want, but just make sure it's mixed in pretty good, decent. And uh, there we go. Get that all off. Get that off. Any more? No? Nope. All right. Perfect. Okay, now what I did here was... Uh, use this glass baking dish instead of the bread pans like a lot of other people use. Uh, the reason why is because I wanted it to be a little flatter and uh, and wider also. So right here I just kind of split it down the middle and uh, did one on one side and one on the other side. So I wanted to kind of make two, one for uh, some co-workers and then also one for myself. Uh, this was really really actually one of the more smarter things that I've done with this whole recipe so worked out great all right let these bad boys chill in the freezer for about 20 minutes kind of firm up so what I'm gonna do first is throw some of this reload rub on the bottom
get the bottom season. Okay. And a little bit of this Everglades heat. This stuff is fantastic, especially on eggs. I'm not going to put too much though. Got one clean hand. Get a better view here. There we go. And then I'll just sprinkle some of this Everglades heat. All right. Next, oh, let's start breaking out. That's not good. Hopefully, it doesn't fall apart. All right. Next is the reload rub. Spin it so we can get this side good. This side. Same on this one. Okay. All right. There you go. Just a cookie sheet lined with uh, some foil and then a little resting heck right there. Got a kid dancing in the background. Uh, I got my Traeger set at 220 or 250 right now. I'm going to go and throw these on there. So they've been smoking for about an hour now. Open it up, see what they look like. Spin them around and put in the probe thermometer. Oh yeah. See that? It's starting to look good. Right, they're done. They cooked for about two and a half hours at what was it, 225? Uh, 250, that's what it was. I put them at 250, and then the last half hour I bumped it up to 275. That actually helped. But I put barbecue sauce on it, and it smells so good. So Smoke ring, little focus. Look at that! Oh my! Oh me! Oh my! Trash can. Ah, can't even cut it. <laughs> oh man! This is. Uh, much better than I was expecting. Phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. Mm. It's turned out a lot better than I was expecting. Okay. I'm going to list all the ingredients I used <clears throat> and basic measurements of pretty much what they were. Down in the description and then everything else that I used I'll also link down in the description. 
thank you for watching and uh, try it out. It's a lot of fun.